hey guys welcome back to my channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this 3d looping animation inside of cinema 4d without using any third party plugins and if you want to learn more about logo animation in after effects then don't forget to check out my logo animation udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want more cinema 4d tutorials then let me know in the comment section also so without wasting any more time let's get started so first of all here we are in cinema 4d now over here what we are going to do we will create go to the shape options and we will create this torus then we will go to the coordinates uh, and press r for rotation tool and by holding shift we will rotate it like this okay then we will select our cube and we will simply click on it we will select this cube we will go to the object properties and size i'm going to choose one one and one like this okay after that we will go to the more graph and we will choose cloner we will select this cube and we will move inside this cloner now select this cloner right now this uh, over in uh, linear mode we are going to choose object so over here we have to uh, you know give one object so that's where we are going to choose torus so we'll simply bring our torus over here and now i want to hide this torus so what i'm going to do i'm going to press alt or click and i'm going to click on this icon and this icon again so it is gone now basically it's there but we cannot see this in viewport and even if i hit ctrl r for render we still cannot see that okay it's like this now let's uh, select this uh, cloner over here and now count is 2 so let's increase two zeros over here so we will get this count like 2000 like this okay so we need this only now i'm going to select this cloner we will go to the move graph then we will go to the effectors and over here we are going to choose a random effector like this go to the parameters and let's choose uh, position x 20 position y 20 and position z also 20 like this then after that we will go to the fall off options and over here we will go inside this and over here we will get some fall of like formula field so simply click on it uh, like this and we don't need to change anything if i hit play over here as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation now what we are going to do we will uh, increase the timeline up to 180 frames so type 180 over here and hit enter then we will increase the timeline over here so if you hit play you will get this continuous animation over here like this okay now after that uh, we need to add camera so let's select this camera over here so we'll get this and we will enable this camera now with the help of middle mouse button we can switch through this uh, viewports so let's go to the right view over here again middle click now we will select this camera we will go to the coordinates and we will type rotation 0 0 position 0 0 and 0 like this now select this camera press r for rotation and by holding shift i'm going to rotate it on 90 degree then press e for position and we will move this over here like this now again go click on middle mouse button like this and we will move this over here somewhere around like this and around like this okay if you want then you can move this somewhere over here now after that we will go over here again we will select this camera we will go to the objects and uh, we will increase the fo focal length or let's choose decrease this focal length somewhere around like this let's make this focal length 10 or let's say 12 maybe like this or let's say 15 i think 15 looks good now let's go over here let's say let's bring this downwards a little bit try to adjust properly somewhere around over here also from over here we have to move it properly like this
okay i think this looks good to me okay so i want this camera like this if you hit ctrl r you will get this kind of structure now after that let's go over here now right uh, we will add one null object from here and we will select this camera and we will make it apparent with this null we will select this null go to the coordinates and if you increase the uh, this rotation value as you guys can see camera is rotating like this so let's create one keyframe at the start and go to the 180 frames and let's make this 360 degree and create another keyframe then right click go to the animation and show f curve then simply hit ctrl a to select all of this thing and we will click on this linear like this and now if i see this stuff over here and if i hit play now as you guys can see we will get something like this okay and if you want then you can select this cloner you can go to the object menu and over here you can increase the count of this for example you can choose 5000 also uh, this is totally up to you so it will increase the count and you give you some different results okay so this is also you can do uh, right now i'm going to choose 2000 only because i don't want my animation to get a little bit of you know uh, extra stuff and let's do one thing i'll select this camera and i'll move it a little bit over here yeah okay now after that uh, we will go to the option settings over here and over here we need to enable depth of field like this and then we will go to our render settings go to the physical uh, choose physical renderer over here inside this physical we have to choose depth of field and right now uh, let's for the moment we will choose low resolution i mean sample quality and now i'm going to select my camera over here go to the physical options and we will enable this movie camera like this and f stop i'm going to choose point 0.2 over here so we will get something like this now go to the object menu and focus distance let's choose 100 initially and we will increase this value gradually until we will get proper results so we need to hit ctrl r to get proper results so we can see which one looks good i'm going to make it let's say 150 and let's see how does it looks it looks something like this okay and let's choose uh, choose this physical and let's choose uh, high quality let's say for now and then hit ctrl r it will take a little bit time to render this comp but uh, we can see our final output like this okay so this is up to you and uh, over here in physical if you reduce this to 0.1 you will get a little bit extra depth of blur and if you choose 0.5 let's say you will get this kind of results so uh, this thing is totally up to you and if you want then you can go to the object menu and you can change the focal length to 11 also so that is also up to you i think 11 is also looks good so let's go to the physical let's choose f stop point 2 okay so we'll get something like this now after that let's uh, go to the cube over here and by holding control i'm going to create different cubes three cubes let's say and double click over here we will create this uh, double click to go inside this go to the luminance and enable that luminance we will uh, reduce this uh, color and we don't want any reflectance also like this okay and we will apply this to one, one cube over here so if you hit control r you can easily see that then we will select this and by holding control i'm going to create duplicate let's select this and change the color of this one to let's say something like this and apply this to another one 
select this by holding control create another one double click If it control R now, you will get different results like this. Over here. And then if you, if you want, you can select this and you can apply glow effect over here. And then glow radius, you can choose 100. And outer strength also 100. Like this and for this white one and let's see hit control r and let's see our results how does it looks okay so you can apply this thing for all of them you can enable their glow outer strength uh, 100 glow radius also 100 close it select this okay select close it in render settings object glow is enabled and now if you hit control r let's see what we will get okay so this is how we will get this kind of stuff and we will get this continuous animation okay and after that we can do another thing we can select this camera over here we can go to the coordinates and now we can create one keyframe at orh we will create one keyframe go to the 180 and we will make it 360 and create another keyframe right click go to the animation show f curve select this curve by hitting ctrl a and we will click on linear okay so now what will happen uh, we will along with this animation you will get this rotation animation also like this and uh, let's do one thing we'll go to the top view over here and we will move this a little bit in middle like this or uh, let's see a little bit over here okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation and after completing our render we will go in after effects and we will try to enhance this a little bit so to put it on render all you need to do simply go to the render settings and go to the output first first of all log expect ratio right now width and height is 720 and one it i mean 1280 and 720 if you want then you can choose 1920 by 180 resolution also 300 and instead of current frame we have to choose all frames and go to the save options and format we have to choose jpg format uh, like this and you don't need to enable this alpha channel and simply over here you have to choose your files a location like this and then all you need to do is simply click on this icon over here okay so right now i'm going to put it on render then we will go to the after effect and we will try to enhance it okay so here we are in after effects let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation okay now my render is ready so now i'm going to press ctrl i so this is my render files uh, which are in the jpg sequence i'm going to click on this first image and then over here i'm going to click on this import jpg sequence and simply hit import like this and simply bring this over here let's zoom in a little bit and let's go to around six seconds maybe and hit n so if you see now we will get this kind of animation now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel over here we are going to type brightness and contrast and we will increase the contrast a little bit like this and we will decrease the brightness a little bit or increase the brightness a little bit somewhere around like this so if you you know uh, and hide this and see you can easily see the difference if you want then you can hit ctrl d again to see the difference over here like this okay so this is first step uh, let's select this second layer press t for opacity and let's make this opacity of this 50 then right click new uh, and create another adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and simply double click to apply and increase the glow radius somewhere around like this so you will get this kind of stuff okay so this is how you can enhance this thing a little bit so let's make this glow radius up to 80 
and glow threshold to 100 like this and let's make this glow radius to 50 let's say and increase the glow intensity to 2 like this okay so we are getting this kind of animation like this so this is how you can enhance your render inside of after effects